I'm going to show you how to tune your bass using harmonics. This is a really good exercise, one for your ear training and two for getting used to the vibrations that your bass makes. First of all, we're going to have to understand what harmonics are and how they work. So taking an open string, like the G in this example, I'm going to hover my little finger just over the 12th fret. I'm not going to press entirely down, but I'm going to sort of float over it. And in this case, it sounds like it's the same note being played when it's fretted and when it's a harmonic. However, when you move to, say, the fifth fret on the same string, there's the harmonic. It's an octave above. But when I press down on the fifth fret, it's a whole different note. So what we're aiming for here is not to press down on the string, because it won't always make the same pitch that you're intending. So there's the open and twelfth, open and fifth. There are other ones you can get into, but I'm going to do that in a separate video, so we'll keep this nice and simple. So when you've been getting used to tuning your bass, you may have noticed things like the fifth fret of the fretted string is the same as the open string below it. So for example, if I'm fretting on the fifth fret of E, and then playing the open A below it, it's the same pitch. Same as I go up or down, which is where you look at it to the A string, being fretted on the open D string, and then fretting the fifth fret of D and the open G. Equally, when you use the seventh fret of, say, the G and the open D below it, they match up. What we're going to do is a similar idea, but we're going to use harmonics. So starting with the seventh fret of G as a harmonic, okay, what we're going to do is match that to the fifth fret of D. So it sounds pretty in tune. It could be like slightly nicer, but it's not far off. And what we're going to do is match these all the way down, a bit like we just did using the open strings and the fifth fret on the way up. But this time, just all harmonics. So we'll take the seventh fret of G, fifth fret of D. Sounds pretty good. Now we'll try the seventh fret of D and fifth fret of A. And then the seventh fret of A, fifth fret of E. So they all sound pretty close, but there's a finer point. What we're listening for is the dissonance or the kind of wobbling between notes when they're not in tune of each other. So the further out they are, the quicker they vibrate, and the closer they get to being in tune, they slow down. So I'm going to show an example of this by detuning the D string. That's definitely not in tune now. It sounds horrible, it's always to tone out. Now, when I do this harmonic exercise, what we'll notice is it's going to be really, really fast to vibrate until it gets near to the point of being in tune and it will slow. Now it sounds nice and tune. So once we've got that, sounds good. There's another way I can check it. I can actually sort of cup the back of the neck of the bass just in this little bit of palm. If you're left-handed, it'll be this one. If you're right-handed, it's this one. Either way, you can actually check that. There's the seventh of G, fifth of D, and as we're ringing out, I can slightly cut the back of the neck. I don't want to interfere with the string, so I'm not touching it, but I can actually feel whether that dissonance and wobbling is still occurring. In this case, it feels pretty good. Nice, let's move on. So, seventh fret of D, fifth fret of A, it's not that, it's fine, but it sounds like there's something a little bit wobbly. Now, if I can't quite hear that with my ears, I can hold on to the neck at the back. Again, I'm not touching any of the strings, but you'll be able to actually physically feel that wobbling, that dissonance. Then you can tune up or down accordingly. So in this case, I've had to tune down slightly to get that unison. So once you've done that, we can move down to the A string. So we've got the 7th fret of A, 5th fret of E. Now I can hear a little bit of, uh, of dissonance in that. So what I can do is to fine tune the lower ones, which are a bit hard to hear, I'm holding the neck, and then actually adjusting the tuning machine head, the peg, whilst I go. You can actually feel it in your hand when it's got to the point of unison, because it won't be wobbling anymore. Once you're happy that you've done them all, you can actually check from down, just like you would do. Start off with the 7th fret of G, 5th fret of D. I'm just moving down the bass. 
and it should feel nice and balanced. It's also a nice pleasant way to train your ears how to recognise when you're out of tune. Once you've done that a few times you can just fine tune. Really it's a quick exercise in developing your ear training and just getting used to when your bass is slightly out of tune. Not one by relying on just your ears but you can also feel it. You know, the bass is on your chest cavity, it's on your hands, it's you know it's, it's under your fingers, it's just getting you connected to your bass. Hopefully that's all been helpful. Let me know in the comments and remember to like, share and subscribe for more bass videos. Peace.